Hello everyone, we've got another art class happening shortly and I just wanted to introduce a book that we're going to be using for three art lessons and that's Willie's Pictures, just this cover here and it's written and illustrated by Anthony Brown and every page has a different famous artwork on it but Anthony Brown has put a chimp, a little chimp called Willie in a lot of the pictures. This is a little model that I made up of Willie one time at one of the art lessons I went to. So that's the little character, which is on the front cover here. Okay, let's start the art lesson. Frida Kahlo, we're going to be looking at, oops. Frida Kahlo is one of the artists I've just explained. And this work here is the one we're going to look at. This is the original up here with Frida herself. It's called a self-portrait with monkeys. And you can see there's a number of monkeys. Someone might know what that monkey is called. It's got long black legs and arms and a long tail. It's a spider monkey, that's right. So this one here is a self-portrait of Frida Kahlo. This one here is out of the book, Willie's Pictures. So we're going to try and create that today. If you've got a lead pencil, can I ask you to go and get it now? I'm going to draw in with a charcoal, black charcoal, so you can see my drawing but it might be best if you draw with pencil. So if you get your pencil ready, and I'll take this book down. Oh, before I do start, here's another painting of Frida Kahlo. This is a portrait I did of Frida. So you can see she's got flowers on her head, she's got her hair up, and she's got that distinctive eyebrow that everyone recognises as her. So I'm gonna put that back down, and we're going to start the art lesson now. Put that there, and I'll put this book down and I'll get the charcoal. Okay, everyone should have a piece of art paper and if you can have it this way again, that would be lovely. So first off, I want you to try and have a hand space at the top and put a little dot for me. Hand space. Why we need that hand space is because we want a little bit of area above the head. You can see it's here or here and we're going to start the drawing of a shape here. Some of you might know that shape. It starts with O and it's an oval, that's right. So we're going to try and draw from that dot there an oval about this size. Takes a little bit of practice. I'll start again at the top, come back down and around. Oops, and there. I might make that a little bit thicker down here. Okay, that's your oval. You can start drawing that now. And while you're drawing that, I'm going to show you how we're going to draw the neck. The neck is the next part we're going to draw. And again, I'm going to use two fingers. You can use three if you like, it's up to you, but I'm just going to use two, well, two fingers. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to have a line here and another, another line on the other side. As long as there's a neck about that thick. We don't want a little skinny neck because if you feel your necks, we've got a little bit of shape to our neck so it's not just a little stick okay we've got that part done now we're going to draw down to the shoulders so here we go we're going to draw the shoulders we're going to go down for the shoulders and down for the shoulders you can see Frida has shoulders here Willie has shoulders coming down here so we're drawing the shoulders we'll get that part done first can anyone remember the next feature that we would draw that might be on that face. This is a self-portrait, so we're going to be drawing something that's halfway down, remember? Does anyone know what that might be? I'll draw, I'll give you a little hint, I'll draw them. Halfway down. Yes, the ears, so if everyone can just draw little ears, we don't want big bunny ears, we just want little ears on the side, halfway down. That's right. Okay, if you've drawn that, we have to have something that's in line with our ears. And that is our eyes. I'm drawing the eyes this way. You can draw them how you like, but this is how I draw eyes. There we go. And you can start drawing yours. And while you're drawing yours, I will draw the eyebrows above mine because this is supposed to be me. So I'm drawing my eyebrows. Oops. Not exactly like Frida Kahlo's yet, <laughs> but um, 
Yes, we're going to draw eyebrows. So if you can draw your eyes, I might even put a little bit of an eyelash in spots. It's up to you, however you want to draw the eyes. This is just a drawing. Probably too long those eyelashes, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to draw, you try and draw your eyes. Now we're going to draw the nose next. So I'm going to draw that. If you want to try and copy mine, that'd be lovely. Because if you can improve your nose rather than just doing a circle, that's great. So we're going to come down here on one eye. And we're going to come back up again. That's how I draw noses. If you don't like that, you draw the, the nose the way you like to draw. Okay. Next thing. Who knows what the next feature on the face might be. Wow. I wonder if anyone can guess. If you said mouth, excellent. Let's go. I'm leaving a little space between the nose. And I'm just going to draw a basic line like that. You want to have lips on that you can have the lips on top and then the lip down the bottom it's up to you however you want to draw the mouth right now that's not finished yet how do i make that drawing look like me i'm going to have some hair that's right so i've got a little line down the front here that's my part so i'm going to try and remember my hair and i know that my hair is touching my shoulder so i'm going to have it coming down here I know that my hair is a bit of wave down here, so I'm doing some wavy lines. I'm going to have some hair coming down here. And I might have another wave down here, a few more waves. Okay. Look very glamorous in that drawing, don't I? Right. Might put a bit of hair down there. That's right. Now, what's are we going to put on this picture to make it look like the illustration from the book Willie's Pictures? We're going to put a vest on you. So then it relates to the story. So we're going to do this. We need to draw a V on the chest here. So we're going to go like this to a point and then we're going to come down and we're going to do another point. Just want you to put that V neck on your drawing so it relates to this illustration that's from the picture book. Okay, so we've got the hair drawn, we've got the V neck vest on. Next thing I'm going to get you to do is try and draw the spider monkey. Spider monkey is a little bit hard to do, but we're going to just do it step by step so you understand. Okay, that's great. Here we go. First thing. Pick a side that you have more space. If you have a look, I think I've got more space here. So I'm going to try and draw one of the little spider monkeys. They're in all of these pictures. I just want one. I'm going to try and draw the head here. So we're going to try and draw it about that size. Some of them have a little point on their head. That's up to you. So if you can draw that shape, a smaller oval. Right. I've done that. Next thing are we going to do those lovely big eyes of the spider monkey. So we're going to try and draw some big eyes. I look about the size. It looks... <laughs> okay, we're going to put a little dot, leave a little area of white on this, and then we're going to colour it in dark. Because they have black fur and they have or black hair, and then they have black eyes. So they must camouflage in the shadows. Right, next thing we're going to do is a little nose. There's two little dots. See those two little dots? Can you try and do those for me? Excellent. Pretty easy to do that. And then we're going to have a little mouth. Okay, that's our little monkey. But now we're going to put the black fur on this little monkey. So we're going to start colouring. You can do this with a black pencil later on. I'm just Lucky I've got a charcoal in my hand. So we're going to put the fur here, but we're going to try and make it look a little bit like the chimp. A little bit of, not coming, fur's not touching your eyes, it's coming down to the eyes, but not touching them. Oh, can you see that? That's excellent. Next thing we're going to come in and do little cheeks of black. I'm going to come over and do a little bit more of a black fur around the cheeks. See how it's starting to look a little bit more like a monkey now? All right. And we might do that little, little bit of a chin there a bit more. Okay, that looks a bit more like the spider monkey. 
Now that little spider monkey, if you have a look, is hanging onto Frida or onto Willie. So we're going to have it hanging onto you. So we're going to have a very long arm coming down here. So we start from up top, you come right down, have a long arm. If you want to draw that little tail now curling around, you can draw that tail too. Whoops, we want to make it rounded at the end. Oh, it's curling around there. Excellent. So what you can do now, once you get your black pencil, you can start or shading it with your lead pencil now and then you can put the black over the top of it. I'm lucky I've got this charcoal, so I can even blend it if I want to. It's a beauty of charcoal. You don't, probably don't have to do as much colouring in, but it is a lovely way of doing softness in fur. And down here a little bit too. Okay, we've got that done. Now, we're going to try to do the pattern now. If you can guess, you might be able to see Frida has a white top, but this one down here is a pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that out of the way for the long. I'll take that down and I'll move it over. It stays there. Right, and we're going to try and draw a line here and a line here. We're going to do another line here and another line here. That's my phone ringing, but I'm going to try and keep on <laughs> doing the art lesson. Okay, so we're now we're doing zigzag line. Zigzag line. And then we're going to have another line coming along the bottom. And the last one is some circles. Circles, 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 circle. I've got one, two, three, four, five there. Five circles. And up the top there, we can just leave it at that. If you want to put some little more detail into it, we can put some little line on the V here. Like that. Okay. All right, that might be enough now. The only other thing that you might be able to see in the background, the background is this area here, is some big plants. I think they're called Bird of Paradise. You can see them here. Got orange flowers. It does look like a big bird. Frida also had some parrots as pets. She had two spider monkeys, but she did have a lot of parrots. But anyway, we're going to try and just draw some big leaves in the background just to make the background look a little bit more exciting. I think we've done something like this with leaves before, but I think you can just do the big shape like that and draw a line down the middle. Okay, now it's colour time. We're going to colour the parts. If I... If I was going to attempt this, this would be first, if we're going to colour that. But while I've got my paintbrush today, I've brought in some watercolours. And I'm just going to paint, adding a little bit of water to my watercolours. If you have watercolours, you can paint your background. Maybe the shirt, or sorry, the vest that you are wearing would be better if you coloured that in with coloured pencils or textures would be great too. So this would be lovely if you colour these parts in. You don't probably have to colour your hair or anything. If you want to colour hair, you can. But I'm just going to quickly paint some of the leaves right now to make the background stand out. Not all of you have paints, so this is why I'm just showing for those people who do have paints at home, we're going to paint them. You don't have to do the leaves green. I'm just trying to copy the background. If you have more of another colour, you can use that. I'm using a small brush, but if you have any size brush, it doesn't really matter. Now remember to tickle the paint, the pigment more. Don't We don't want you painting with a whole lot of water. You can see mine's a little bit running and maybe it might run down onto the face. So we're trying to get that down. Maybe the last thing I might do, I'm not going to do that. I might just get some green and paint around the outside of the head, down to the shoulders, maybe around that little spider monkey, just to make it look like there's a background. A 
the person is in the foreground and the background is where all the plants are. I think I look forward to seeing your artworks uh, when they're finished. So if some people could show those to me, that'd be lovely. Okay, everyone, bye-bye. I look forward to seeing your work. Bye.